Right. You need, you need locks on the doors? <laughs> okay, this Let is sounding kind of dangerous now. It's a little kinky, but yeah, you know. yeah. If you haven't already heard, Sean Combs, a.k.a. P. Diddy, has been arrested on charges of sex trafficking, racketeering, and creation of, criminal ent of a criminal enterprise. His homes were reportedly raided earlier this year, and many scandalizing materials were allegedly recovered from his properties. Let's dive into Hi, his I'm natal chart. Lodge, your go-to holistic and spiritual life coach and Vedic Astrologer, Psychic Medium, and Tower Reader for personal Vedic Astrology reading, do DM me at astrodevy333 or go to astrodevy.com. So please remember to like, follow, and share this video. We're going to go briefly break down Sean Combs, a.k.a. Puff Daddy, a.k.a. P. Diddy's natal chart, meaning his astrological birth chart, and we're going to get insights as to how it reveals who he is and also what's happening in his future because this is... This is some big, big stuff. This is like Jeffrey Epstein type situation. I really feel that his situation is even more bigger than Jeffrey Epstein, right? So um, if not the same, if not the same, what I immediately noticed in Sean Combs' natal chart was that his moon is conjunct K2 with K2 high, holding the higher degree. What does that mean? Well, you don't want a malefic holding the higher degree with a benefic planet. In his case, it is doing that. And that could create like real serious phobias, mental issues, emotional disconnection from other people, you know, um, infu and infu oh God, inferiority, inferiority complex issues with mom, security, safety. You know, he's, his son is also in Libra, which means it's debilitated. And it also means that there's karma around relationship matters. It also gives issues with father and ego, right? And also some issues in career too, when you do have your son uh, debilitated. I want to know though, when planets are afflicted like that, it's your opportunity to really transform and work out the negative karma Okay, so uh, in, in this lifetime, so for him, you know, this would be his opportunity to bring things back into balance, right? But it will come back into balance. Well, you'll see what I mean. So his natal sun is aspected by, and by malefic planets, Rahu and Saturn. And this could indicate someone who really works hard to get what they want. But it could also mean that he's willing to do whatever necessary at any cost or sacrifice to get what he wants and to be someone of an authority to be you know to be of an authority figure right and it's also been my experience with planetary aspects like this it does give that you know the native the person this you know gangster attitude right and clear, clearly he has that kind of attitude his natal venus is in virgo it's conjunct pluto jupiter and uranus and although venus isn't debilitated sign it has a mutual exchange with mercury which technically gives cancellation to this debilitation however when it comes to relationship matters because of this you know bunch of conjunct planets with venus it means that that Sean Combs is very particular about his women. It also means that he has a very slave master relationship with his women. Hence, did you guys remember that video with Cassie where he kind of like uh, goes after her, beats her down, is dragging her down a hotel uh, uh, hall? And it also shows here because Uranus being in conjunct there with these planets, you know, it breaks the normal boundaries and Jupiter expands everything it touches. So this means he does things like way, way off the Richter, like really goes overboard. Like he has no shame in the way he treats women and how he feels this, um, this, uh, this kind of master slave rela relationship with women where he's the master and they're the slave, you know, you could just imagine, you know, someone with this placement, you know, he expects his love interest to, you know, in a grand way, um, to serve him in, in a very grand way, in a very toxic way, in a very unusual way, in a very unconventional way, right? Completely breaking societal norms. And if you remember what happened with Cassie Ventura, you know, that's exactly what the relationship was. You know, he had her do things that were completely 
not traditional, breaking societal norms. You know, he definitely was severely abusive to her, you know, not just physically and emotionally, but um, sexually as well, right? And you could only imagine, you know, with what we know about Cassie Ventura, you could only imagine what happened with Jennifer Lopez and what happened with the late Kim Porter, who allegedly was coming out with a book about Sean Combs before her untimely death. Here's what's more. His natal Mars is exalted in Capricorn. You know, Elon Musk and also um, Hugh Hefner have an exalted uh, exalted Mars, you know, this gives, this gives, um, you know, the native, in other words, Sean, this gives him a really strong sex drive. This gives him a passion to win and to overcome challenges, you know, but we also have to remember, you know, his natal Mars is aspected by Pluto and Neptune within a two to three degree orb, giving it a different flavor, making him feel much more empowered to have this master a complex, especially with really dark things with occult, obsession, fears, toxic relationships. You know, Neptune is magical and spiritual. So you can imagine how he's into like occult magic and these dark sexual uh, rituals, you know, and it also shows that his sex drive is not a normal sex drive. It's something like very toxic, you know, instead he's someone who enjoys going on crazy sexual adventures and escapades, you know, involving something really dark and sinister and engaging in occult magic. Um, you know, what's more interesting too, as we move further on February 12, 2024 of this year, 2024, Pluto was conjunct his natal Mars with an exact conjunction. This is a very hostile conjunction. It indicates like serious troubles with open enemies for him because this was sitting in his sixth house from his moon. But this is about major lessons regarding personal power, drive, and ambition. It also, you know, it also shows that he's being confronted with serious matters, forcing him to learn how to express his Mars energy in a different way. He could do this voluntarily or he could do this by force. But here's what's interesting. If you remember just the month before in January of 2024, Sean Combs and uh, liquor giant Diego or Diego, I don't know how to pronounce it, they re supposedly resolved all legal disputes that they had between each other, right? I have a really good intuitive reason to believe that this company colluded with Sean Combs open enemies and law enforcement to really expose him even further as a means of punishment for how he exercised his power in that relationship. So I feel, and I can't prove this, but intuitively, and I do feel that this is going to come out in the future, that he was abusive in this business relationship with uh, Diego, uh, that liquor company, giant liquor company, and that in return to really be, you know, to really give it to him, they capitalize on all these um, lawsuits against him, took advantage of it to really, really give it to him um, and expose him in a way that he's never been exposed before. And guess what? A Pluto conjuncting your natal Mars the way it is with him, with the aspects that it has, yes, it can definitely do that. It's doing it for him. Here's what's more. Transit Saturn is conjuncting his natal Rahu, you know, in opposition to his natal moon and Ketu, of course. You know, this brings really, really difficult, challenging matters with respect to relationships, business partnerships, and also the public. You know, it shows breakups, legal matters, relationship scandals, just to name a few. When Rahu and, and uh, Saturn get together, it is like trouble. It is really, really big trouble. So hence, look what he's going through. So I'm also predicting, speaking of business partnerships, I'm also predicting that there's going to be even more trouble for bad boy records, also known as bad boy entertainment, because it was created in 1993. This is the last time Saturn was in 
Aquarius. Saturn transited that last time in Aquarius between 1993 and 1995. Every time Saturn returns to its sign, it goes through karmic either consequences or rewards. You know, you get judged based on your actions in the house that it's transiting. So think about this. Now he's having the Saturn return in that house. Well, he doesn't have Saturn return, but Saturn is returning back to Aquarius. And I predict, and I, and I foresee psychically, what I foresee was that he was using this company, Bad Boy Records, to really facilitate his criminal activities. I believe that this is going to get exposed in the future. So do pay attention to how that all comes about. And remember, remember Biggie Smalls, also known as Notorious B.I.G., who could forget him? He died in March of, uh, in March of um, 1997. Okay, and I do believe that in April of 2026, around or before April 14th of 2026, he's going to have to answer to, to his involvement in Biggie Small's death. There's something that's going to pop off about that, and it's going to be in the news. What's more is that on February 28, 2025, Transit Saturn is going to conjunct Transit uh, Rahu, which is the North Node. I mean, sorry, it's going to conjunct his transit natal Rahu, the North Node, in his seventh house from the moon. Remember, I don't know what time he was born. If you do know what time he was born, please send me those details. What this indicates is intense, intense, intense major power struggles, legal matters, karma for past actions, okay, with respect to his relationships and business partnerships. So this has to do with his love life. Sexual assaults. Remember, seventh house is also a sex house, okay? And it's going to have to do with real serious legal matters, business partnerships, especially the ones that have to do with Bad Boy Records Entertainment. There's going to be so much stuff popping off at that time. You're going to see things going out happening in the news. Also, on April 20th, 2025, Transit Saturn is going to be in Pisces, and it's going to it's going to conjunct Transit Rahu at exactly two degrees in Pisces. Um, this is also going to be conjunct with Venus, Neptune, and Mercury. Venus is love, money, relationships. Neptune is scandal, secrecy, fantasy, um, secrets, and occult stuff. And Mercury is documents, pictures, photographs. You know, Neptune is also film and photography as well. So there's going to be documentation. And it's going to be opposing his natal Pluto. This is huge, you guys. Really huge. Because this means not only is his health and well-being going to be in trouble, his finances are going to be in trouble. There's going to be some crazy-ass scandals, some karmic repercussions going on. I mean, I foresee that that day he's going to be really afraid for his life. He's also going to be afraid of his hidden enemies. You know, and I do feel that his life is certainly going to be in danger. And it's really because he pissed people the F off. Namely, namely, who started this chain reaction was not just Cassie, but... What started this chain reaction was how he, um, how he, how he got into a uh, conflict with uh, Diageo, uh, giant liquor, that giant liquor company. So that's going to be really interesting to see. And why is this such a crazy critical time? Well, you know, Pluto, that opposition to Pluto, Pluto represents the underworld, power, transformation, death and rebirth. But it's happening. This, this Saturn Rahu conjunction, no prince, the Saturn Rahu conjunction is happening in his eighth house. That's going to be really problematic for him in such a serious way. I mean, this is a major tug of war, but I feel like this is a war that he's losing, that he's going to be losing. Um, you know, it, it does create a strong drive towards, you know, him having a deeper understanding for his actions, trying to manifest, um, master you know, and control these hidden forces, but it also leads to major crisis. There's going to be a major crisis really forcing him to let go of power in order for his own personal growth. I'll tell you something. I would not want to be him. That's for damn sure. You know, um, it's, it's going to be crazy, you guys. Let me just leave it at that. It's going to be crazy. And yes, his life is going to be in danger. And I'll tell you why it's because it's not just about the exposure. It's not about, you know, just him being exposed. It's also about all the documents. Remember, in his eighth house, when that Saturn-Rahu conjunction is happening, he's going to have documents about 
and information about people that he's blackmailing people that he has information about those people are also going to be in trouble and think about it if though if he has information on people secret dark information on people don't you think that those people are going to do whatever it takes to shut him the f up to also completely shut him down to also be as proactive as possible to protect their own companies, their asses in every way, shape, or form. Absolutely, that's going to happen. So, if you want a personal Vedic astrology reading, DM me at astrodevi333 um, or go to astrodevi.com. Please remember to like, share, and follow. And if you have any comments or questions, I definitely want to hear what you think about this explanation and also where you think his future is hold, uh, is headed and just any thoughts and comments, really. And if you're looking for me to do a specific reading on someone that you're interested in, let me know. I'll see you all soon. Bye.